Welcome to 12D Synergy Client Searching for version 4. First thing we're going to look at in searching is uh, how to find a job. Just note for this exercise that Jacaranda Company is the only top level job that I have. So to find a job we're going to hit the change job button, connect to the server you wish and hit connect button and then this is the find a job panel. There are several different ways you can use this. The first time you open this, the default value for restrict to top level is true. Note that if we search there, we will only get the Jacaranda company because it is the only top level job. So we change that to false and then hit find. This will give us a list of all the jobs that you have access to or permissions to see in 12D Synergy. You simply just pick the job you want to open and hit the open button. The second way to use a job find uh, panel is again we hit change job, connect to our server. This time we're going to use the quick search. So you can type uh, any word that may be part of the, the job name or an attribute uh, for that job. So in this case, I'm going to type standard and then I'm going to hit find. This time it gives me two jobs. It gives me the standard job template because the word standard is in the name. It also gives me emu park because if I click on that one, it has a job attribute value job type standard job so it's picking that up in its search criteria but I want to select the job you want and then hit open and there it is on the left there the third way to use this is if we hit change job and again connect to our server is to use the name search so when you put a name in here it will search directly for any jobs with that name in it. And if there is only one, it will open it directly. So we hit the find button. And there we go, straight to the Emu Park job. There are other ways to use this job search panel as well. So again, if we take a look at it. So you've got quick search, you've got the name search, and you've got these default attributes but you can increase your search capability by adding more attributes to it. So if we hit the plus button down here and then we can come and select what attributes we want to add. So there are defined attributes, they're the ones that come with 12D Synergy so you can search for those items there or we can go to the custom attributes tab and hit the find button and this lists all our attributes in Synergy and we can pick what we want to search for. So again, we may want to search for jobs with a particular, uh, say, client. Hit select, and that gets added to our attribute area. Then all you have to do is select a value. So again, if we pick in there, and we went find to look at our contacts list, we could come down pick the client's name and hit select. And then when you hit find, you'll get all jobs that have that same client. So that's using a job find panel. The other type of searching is searching for files. Now when searching, searching only occurs at the selected level and below and it will also include the content and attributes of those files. Again, there are a couple of different ways to search in 12D Synergy. The first way is the quick file search. So just click in the bar up here and you can type what you want to search for. Now this could be content or the name of a file or even attributes. And it can do multiples. For example, if we type in this area survey and the word meeting 
it's going to search for the words survey and meeting. And because we're highlighted at the job level, it will select, it will search through that entire job. If we were to pick a folder, it would only search that folder and below. So again, go and hit the little search button over here now, and that will give us our search results at the bottom. And you can see it's found three files. And if we click on those, you can have a look at the preview and you'll see, you know, quite obvious that the word survey and then there's meeting. So that's why it's found those. Just for your information, when you're performing a quick search, whether for a job or a file, or if the search is treated as a query, this means you can use or, and, or not to enforce when certain terms must or must not occur. You can also use brackets to control groups and quotes to control phrases. The second way to do a search is a constraint search. So that's using the proper search up the top here. So we can click on that and you can search for what you want here. Again, I need to come and select what level I want to search from. So there we go, Emu Park, go search. Uh, here it's more defined, so you can put in a search for something in the file name. Also the limit up there, so you can see we're searching job and subjobs. As file name, you can search for contents. Uh, you can also search deleted files. Or we can come and be more specific with our attributes, like searching for all things that are checked out. Hit select, set the value to true, and then we can hit the search button. Okay. So you go, it's showing me all these things because I have a 12D model project checked out. Now with search results, we can save them. So if we right click on the search result and go save search, we can then give it a name. Checked out and hit save. Now I'm going to come and check this or cancel the check in, check out for that 12D model project so we don't get that in our results anymore. And I'm going to come and check out um, some other files in here. So maybe if we come and check out some of those meeting minutes. I'll check one out. I'll check a second one out. And the great thing about these search results is they are dynamic. So if we come down and hit the refresh button on the right here, it does a new search again. So everything inside this job that is now checked out. So the great thing about saving searches is you can save as many as you like and they can act as your personal folders for this particular job. Really handy when you just want particular items. Okay, the other type of search of course uh, is a system search. This is a search that can go across all jobs and tasks on the current server, not just for a particular job. So to do that, we need to go up to the view menu and go to system view. Now in here, we can search for files and or tasks. So for example, we've done a bit of searching on files. It's exactly the same as a constraint search. You can do your quick search, you can do your defined searches by adding the plus button and what you want to search for there. Well, let's do a search for a task, so let's search for all tasks assigned to me. So I'm going to use the me shortcut button here and then I'm going to hit search. And there you go, it gives me every single task that is assigned to me across the entire server. Handy if you want to see what somebody's workload is.
Of course, when you finish searching across the entire server, whether that be for a task or a file or maybe even a particular email, when you've done, you simply go back to the view menu and go back to job view. And that will take you back to the current job you were in.